Hey guys, Trisha Hershberger here at CES 2019. I am at the Vive Suite. This is probably my most anticipated appointment of every CES. I'm nice. here with Dan. Dan, how's your CES been? It's been incredible. We're uh, introducing some great new products and some announcements. We're having a great show. We are standing in front of so many Vive headsets. Can you just give us a brief rundown of your full lineup now? Sure. Uh, so this year with refining what VR is in 2019, we have uh, we introduced two new headsets. Mm -hmm. The first one being a, a new family member for the Pro Series called the Vive Pro I, which mm -hmm. is a native eye tracking uh, built into the headset. And uh, we're really excited about the different examples of accessibility fo with foveated rendering, uh, training examples that we have here in the room. It's a really great product. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, when they think of eye tracking in a headset, they think of that in order to make the experience better on maybe a lower quality or lower resolution headset. But with the Vive Pro, we're already looking at the top tier. So That's right. it's very interesting that eye tracking is the way that you went. Kind of what was the genesis of putting eye tracking in the Pro headset? Well, a lot of our customers at the enterprise and professional level were mm -hmm. asking for it specifically. Okay. They wanted to be able to do re user research. They wanted to be able to have better training simulations. Um, they wanted to be able to start to do accessibility functionality like home run derby mm -hmm. with Major League Baseball. You can now just, you don't need a controller, you don't need anything else to uh, start the experience. You go in, you start the experience with your own eyes. And so you're navigating menus, you're being able to, it's much more efficient. Um, I think the user research with Zero Light and BMW and being able to customize the BMW and really understand what user preferences are and how they feel about you know how they feel about your product without you really having to do a survey. They're really understanding that much more effectively. So it was really an answer to a problem that our professionals and enterprises were asking for. Great. Some more practical applications than gaming necessarily. Absolutely. Okay. That's correct. So we are also introducing another product in our consumer segment called the Vive Cosmos. Yes. And so so we're getting a first look at that product uh, at this show, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a new product that is built around comfort, ease of use, ease of setup. Um, it's, it's a great new product with a flip-up design, being able to go from your real world to your virtual world. Um, it doesn't require any external tracking sensors or technology. Great. So out of the box, you are ready to plug and play and go. So one tethered cable, and that's, that's right. it? Yeah, it, it, it is uh, PC-based, mm -hmm. uh, tethered, and so you can uh, plug in one cable um, and uh, get into your VR experience. Uh, we also have the ability, um, which more information will come out, uh, but we want to be able to make that product to be powered and used by more than just your PC. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to hear more about that when it comes out. And then just as an overview for everyone at home who may not be familiar with the other headsets you already have available, sure. we've covered the two new ones. What else do you guys have? Sure. Well, we have the original Vive, mm -hmm. uh, which is a market, which is a Steam VR based headset, which yep. is still selling extremely well uh, to consumers. And uh, that product is available now and today in almost all of our channels. Yep. Um, that is the first uh, product that ever came out from Vive and, and uh, our virtual reality portfolio. Mm -hmm. We also have the Vive Pro, which we announced last year, which is very similar to the new product, not having uh, the eye tracking built in. Great. Um, increased resolution, increased uh, audio, uh, overall a better experience built for enterprise and platforms. Yeah, so, really a high-end experience. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so then we also have our Vive Focus, which is our first all-in-one headset. And that product is available globally uh, to enterprises and professionals uh, and developers. And that is a six degrees of freedom headset with a three degree of freedom uh, controller. And then we also have with that product, a version of it for developers uh, with a six degrees of freedom controllers as well. Excellent, and yeah. uh, and you guys also have the wireless pack out there available That's right. as well. That's right, so our wireless uh, solution is uh, able to be attached to the Vive, mm -hmm. the Vive Pro, or the uh, Vive Pro I, and that removes the need to have the tether back to the PC. We're really excited about what that does with the Vive Pro I because yes. now you have less computing resources fighting for that display. And in some cases, you know, uh, developers can make the visual experience nine times better uh, with foveated rendering uh, and also not even having that tether in place by having the eye tracking there to support it. I love it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for running us through what Vibe has going on here at CES. Guys, if you want more CES 2019 coverage, you can stick around at Newegg's YouTube channel or Newegg Insider.